Hey everyone, my name is David Dunbar, or the Theme Park Evangelist. In my last vlog, I finally finished up year one of my Disciple Now Weekend. My Disciple Now Weekend is a brand new YouTube series that I started that's very, very short. I was originally going to do about nine videos, but it's probably going to be about six or seven at this point. So, anyhow, to make a, a long story short... I'm going to be doing year two tomorrow, and I'm also going to do the sequel to another awesome discussion topic tomorrow as well. So I'm after this vlog, I'm going to, um, to talk about how I plan for my Central Florida trips, and then tomorrow I'm going to doc. I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm going to talk about more or less what I do while I'm down in Central Florida. Like, do I do things differently every year, or do I always do everything the same, more or less? So that's what you can kind of expect. But right now, I just literally thought about something while I was uh, finishing up my last vlog. I talked about World of Life Super Bowl. I was like, oh, shoot, I've never actually talked about that before. I think people would like this. So... Let us begin my Word of Life Super Bowl experience. I have officially done two of them. I'll tell you right now. The second one was a lot better, but the only thing I liked the best about the very first one was the fact that we went to Disney Quest. But we're going to get there. So the Word of Life Super Bowl is a big event that is sponsored by Word of Life Ministries every single November, to my knowledge. I don't know if they're still doing it or not, especially with the pandemic that just happened about two years ago. But the point is, a bunch of churches normally drive all the way out to, like, let's say it's in Central Florida. Like, I, that's where I did my Super, where have I Super Bowl? So, I was part of a church called Calvary Baptist Church in Winter Haven, Florida, off of Overlook Drive back in the day, back in between 2005 to 2008, 2009, somewhere around there, my middle school years. And more or less, we got into the church bus and we drove all the way out to Orlando, Florida. And we, the very first year that I went, don't remember if the Amway Center was open yet or not, which is basically the Orlando Magic Serenia. So, we drove all the way out there. Eventually, I would like to talk more about passion, too, but that's another story for another time. And uh, we would get off the bus, and we would uh, go inside, and we would watch a basketball game for about three hours, give or take. Once the basketball game was over, the... Um, Word of Life Ministries would come and take over the uh, bottom of the court and uh, they would preach a sermon. All the regular nighttime guests or whatever that came to just watch the game would already have left by that point. And uh, they came and preached to us a sermon and then they were like, oh, by the way, we're having like the world's largest pizza party outside so you might want to hurry up and get over there. So I would literally exit and there would be all these pizza boxes and my um, brother and I went, or when my brother and I did it the uh, second year, I remember there was this one guy who grabbed his own pizza box. I mean, people were grabbing their own pizza boxes. And my brother and I decided to grab one for ourselves, and we got back on the bus. And I remember sitting down at seat, and I was like, dude, look, there's a six-pack of Sprite. Like, sweet. So I got one for my cell phone, got one for my brother, and this one guy came back, and he's like, you steal all my Sprite? And I'm like, I didn't do nothing. <laughs> that was always my go-to response. It's like the one time I saw somebody texting, and I had never seen t people text before, so I was kind of like... And the guy was like, you read my text, bro? And I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> I am ridiculous. That's all I have to say about that. 
Anyway, back to the story. So, after you have the world's largest pizza party, at least for my very first year, they still had the RDV Sportsplex Center, which is a huge, absolutely huge building where you can play basketball, you can play dodgeball, you can go work out. Um, I'm sure they had Wi-Fi too. Sorry, where you can work out. Um, they also, it was just a nice area for people just to kind of just chit chat, relax, maybe take a nap. They also had a room where they had a Halo tournament going on back when Halo was actually really popular. Uh, they also had like racquetball, tennis, they had all kinds of sick things. But I wasn't into that kind of stuff back then. I'd be a little more interested now. I'm 28 years old now, but, you know, we're talking to middle school me. So middle school me was bored out of his mind. No, we did not do that the second year for whatever reason. The second year, we just went right to Fun Spot. Disney Quest, unfortunately, at that point was gone. Gone for good. And... Also, I should mention that pizza party happens at midnight. The basketball game and lets out about 10, 11 o'clock at night. And then you go straight to having the pizza party afterwards because, well, I mean, you have that sermon, and then you go and have the pizza party afterwards. And then you're over at the RDV. Well, at least I was over at the RDV Sportsplex Center for, like, I don't know, two, three hours. And I remember the very first year, they uh, did a special thing for um, Disney Quest. They kept Disney Quest open all night, which is un very unusual. So the very first night we ever did it, they took us over to Disney Quest, which is amazing. And I had never seen that place so full in my life. Like, literally everything had a two-hour wait. There was I went and played a couple of arcade games, but... I had no concept of time, and I was nervous. I didn't. I was freaked out. I was like, I don't want to be left behind. So I had to keep going and bugging my uh, church members, like, what time is it? What time is it? I felt like I was becoming a pain in the butt. I really wish I had a concept of time. I'm. That's why I always keep some kind of phone on me now, so I can always keep track of the time. Okay, it's this time now. I really need to get a watch so I can keep track of time better without having to whip out my phone all the time. But I was paranoid back then. I always, I've always been a worrier, but I was like to the extreme back then. And after um, Disney Quest was over, if I remember correctly, we just um, went back to the church because we got out of Disney Quest about four or five o'clock in the morning, give or take. And then the first, then the second year, we went over to Fun Spot, and I think they basically decided to give us about four hours instead of just two. So we were at Fun Spot for four hours. Now, the time I went with my brother to Fun Spot, it was freezing. It was at least 32 degrees plus the wind. I had to go in the restroom just to stay warm. I. I admit I was cold. Now, back then, I was a pure Floridian, so I didn't know what cold was. And, of course, I didn't dress properly because I was thinking, ah, we're going to go to Disney Quest. Wow, was I wrong or what? Not to mention, I didn't have any gloves, so my hands grabbed that go-kart steering wheel. I was like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my word. <laughs> I was like, what have I done? What have I done? <laughs> But I always uh, remember coming back from the um, all-nighter, and I basically got home. I was just like, ugh. <laughs> and I was like, just leave me here for a few hours. <laughs> That's honestly how I felt every single Saturday morning when I would get home from pulling an all-nighter of Josh Koppel. I'd just be like, night. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll wake up later this afternoon, but I don't pull all-nighters anymore, and I made that very clear yesterday. So, more or less, that was my experience doing the uh, Word of Life 
experience, or that was my, sorry, the World of Life Super Bowl experience. Uh, the only other thing I forgot to mention, they had another game area on the other end of the um, RDV Sportsplex Center where you could go outside, but it was still, like, covered. And, yes, I did walk the entire thing. I mean, I could probably get through the entire thing in about half an hour. But I remember just sitting around bored out of my mind. I was so lonely. I was so shy back then. As hard to believe as it is, I used to be an introvert. Obviously, I'm not now. But back then, yeah, I was very introverted. I was even introverted when I first started working for Publix. And I've been working for almost 10 years now. There is most definitely a bug in here. Yep, there is. So, anyway, that is basically everything uh, regarding the my Word of Life Super Bowl experience. But I'm going to go ahead and get some of these YouTube videos uploaded. It's only 10.45 now. I should probably take my medication really quick uh, for my uh, medical stuff. And then after that, I will, because I'm still wide awake right now, I will go ahead and get to the discussion that everybody's probably looking forward to. So I will see you guys in the next vlog. And always remember, you can do all things through Christ's strength and you. Have a great night. Peace out.